Welcome to Expert Talk Smart Flows. In this session, we'll work with images. We'll retrieve them from a URL, from the asset folder, from Dynamics, and from SharePoint. First, let's pick up our coffee cup and paste that into our template. We can make this picture conditional, just like any other text. We'll use the name field. Make that conditional using the wizard. And we'll only show the picture if the name of the quote contains coffee. Now let's preview. No coffee because my quote name does not contain the word coffee. For pictures, the best practice is to use the .png format. Now, let's go into the next option. The next option is to pick up a picture from a URL. Delete this, delete this, and map the description field from our data set. Our description fields hold a URL to a picture. I've mapped that, can open the settings. Go to convert to image and turn on the convert to image option. Here I'll choose URL. I can also change the width and the height of the picture if I want to. I'll keep the aspect ratio so my picture will basically be a little square. Let's OK that. And preview. For the size, the best practice would be to cut your pictures to size before inserting them. Otherwise, they'll just create overhead in your document and slow it down. Nice, that's looking good. A similar option is file from a folder. You can use this to retrieve an image from a folder or a share. That folder or share needs to be accessible by the expert doc server. So this will not work on the cloud versions of SmartFlows. You will need an on-premise version. Alternatively, you can use an HTTP connector to access, for instance, a web service, or if you want to use authentication when retrieving your files. The next two options involve the asset folder on the SmartFlow server. You can create new assets here, pictures, and upload them. I have already uploaded my sandwich. Now in the template, I'm using the description field to pass only the name of my picture. I'll go into the settings. Turn on convert to image, and this time I'll choose asset. Let's OK that and preview. It will now pass the name of the file through the description field to the convert to image function. And that shows my sandwich. That's looking good. The next option is asset lookup. Here we try to match the value of a field with the name of an asset. So for instance, the name of a user with an asset with the same name. And that asset would be a picture of that person's signature, for instance. Well, 
will map the name of the owner of the quote into our template. Open its settings. Turn on convert to image. And this time we'll turn on asset lookup. With the lookup button, we can now match a username with an asset. We'll create a new combination. Of a name and an image. This brings up my asset chooser and I can make a combination of a name and an image. I can add more if I want. It's important to let the name match the name of the asset, of course. Let's pick a default image. Let's OK that and create a preview again. It now matches the name of the user with the name of the asset. So these can be used for signatures, but also for logos, for instance, a logo per business unit. Now let's pick up a note attachment from Dynamics. We want to make sure that those notes are added to our data set. Switch to the data set and check if the note on the quote has been selected under the one to many relations. From the note itself, switch to the fields and make sure from the advanced fields, the document field is selected as this is the field that will hold the attachment to the note. We can now from the data set map that document field from the annotation. Add it to our template. As you look at the field inspector, you can see your attachment. It's base64 encoded, so you don't see a picture but a string of uh, digits. So we have to convert that to an image. Let's open the settings. Convert to image. And this time, because we have binary encoded content, we'll choose binary encoded. Let's OK that. And preview. If you would have multiple nodes, you might have to retrieve them in a loop or filter them using result set. That's looking good. The next option is SharePoint. If we use SharePoint as our document location, we can add that location to our data set. Here we uploaded, uploaded a number of pictures to the SharePoint location of our quote. Let's switch to the data set. Make sure that under the one to many relations, the relation to SharePoint documents has been selected. From the SharePoint document entity, click on the fields, go to the advanced fields, and make sure the, that the absolute URL field has been selected. Now we're going to add that absolute URL to our template. In the data set, find the SharePoint document entity, click that open and map the absolute URL field. We can actually loop over it 
because we have multiple pictures. If you want to filter out certain pictures, you might want to use a result set. Let's now convert the mapping to an image. And here we'll choose SharePoint. For this, you will need a SharePoint connector set up in your environment. You might also have noticed a Dynamics connector, but please don't use that to retrieve images. We'll set the width and the height. We'll OK this and we'll preview. And that's looking good. So that's all for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.